he felt. So you might already know it's really easy to add geospatial data formats into felt like Esri shapefile or GeoJSON or GeoPackage. But what you might not know is that it's also really easy to import spreadsheet data like CSV and Excel. The how is simple. As always, you can either use the upload anything button or simply drag and drop a file. In this case, I'm dragging addresses for Starbucks in the Bay Area. Um, and for this to work, what you need is your spreadsheet to contain some kind of geographic data. Now that can be in four different ways. The first one is just latitude and longitude fields. You can also have a single geometry field containing well-known text, well-known binary or GeoJSON. Um, you can contain an address field or multiple address fields, and that will be converted to coordinates using geocoding. And then finally, you can just contain names or codes of places like country names or zip codes, and we call that geomatching. So our import is ready. Let's take a closer look. And since these were addresses that have been geocoded into coordinates, we can review the accuracy and see what happened. So we had 82 Starbucks, and they've all been converted to points. 71 have found a full match, so it means that we can trust this with high accuracy. And 11 addresses have been found a partial match, so maybe they're just representing the city or the zip code or something similar. Okay, it's just that easy. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.